Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zelot, and this is Alpha 7, episode, I want to say 16? God, I can't remember. <laughs> Let's go with 16. Okay. Um... As you can see, we are looking at the cockpit of a ship. Yes, it is the finished starting vessel, and you're probably thinking, what, what the hell, where's the windows? Well, to tell you the truth, guys, I don't actually use first-person view that much, and I don't really need it, well, in a cockpit of a big ship anyway. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you know, because I can just jump in and like three out and I'm fine so you can see I finished it off let's um here I'm gonna jump out. I'll give you a quick tour some uh, grow plots there's my uh, uh, bare, ne bare necessities just to make like canned vegetables so I've got uh, six of the each of the three vegetables for uh, canned vegetables and then Let's see, we've got all the, got a couple of uh, TT fridges, got the processor, um, got everything installed. So all the bare necessities, uh, even the, the bare deco necessities, like I call these necessities because, you know, they, they actually do some kick-ass things. Like really nice. Look at that. Food poisoning. Uh, poisonous bite, this one's broken leg, open wound, all the parasites, and all the other heat, radiation, freezing, that sort of thing. So, today, we are actually, you can hear the, th the thunder and lightning, there's quite the storm outside, wow, okay. Um, I've got my HV here, so, oh, I kind of parked a little close there. <laughs> Uh, okay, so we brought the CV to the base, and oh, better get my gun ready just in case, and turn my light on. No, my luck, some some aggressive dino will come sprinting in here and kill me. Okay, right when I'm about to warp away. That would be funny, right after taking out the drone base, and owning the planet for the most part. I mean, there's a couple of, I think there's one shooty, shooty POI left. Uh, okay, so I pretty much, I'm done with the base now. Let's just double check. And I just want to make sure that the furnace is off because that thing's ridiculous in power consumption. And it's off. Okay. Okay. I think we're out of here. I think I'm good on everything else. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take this thing and... Oh, come on. Jetpack. There we go. Let's... Um, I'll give you a quick tour. Hopefully the drone can reach the front. I might have to go around the front and pop it out the top. So I've got six thrusters of the medium type in every direction, basically. So I can I can go straight up, sideways, whatever. I can fly backwards straight up. It can handle it. It actually, it's not too bad. It's not super fast or anything. And the RCS is it's not too twitchy. It's And it's fairly responsive. So so I'm going to leave it for for now for all the thrusters and everything like that. You can see I got no windows on it. Just bulkhead. Uh, unfortunately my drill is right there going, shoot me! I don't really like that, but that's the optimal spot for it. Because uh, I'm going to be like sneaking my nose into, into asteroids and mining, right? So I want that thing really close to get as deep as possible. So it is what it is. It's ugly. And cheap, really, even though that it's resource consumption. This is all combat seal. Obviously, you could make it a lot cheaper on the Sathium. Uh, let's see what it's... 
what its statistics are here. So it is up to 4586 iron, 7670 sathium, 480 silicone, 444 4 copper, 1417 cobalt, 2750 neo, 135 each arrestrium zascosium, and then uh, 9 plastic, 18 growing plots. For a construction time of 2 hours 53 minutes if you put in just the raw materials. So, uh, and of course, you can reduce that with full blocks, but. Um, so I already took a blueprint of it and I call it the blind miner. So I'll be spawning that probably on my multiplayer or I'll be trying to when I fire up our multiplayer server for seven, which I got to get on really quick. So I want to just do some quick warps with you guys and finish off the series really. Okay. Let's get to it. So you've seen enough of the ship. You'll see enough of it as we do some stuff here. Let's get going. We're going to warp somewhere. I want to warp somewhere. All right. So let's do a systems check here. Got the thrusters off. I put, I put um, all the thrusters and RCS into a group called or into the controlled by engines here because I like turning off the RCSs too then you're not like jostling your ship around when you wiggle your mouse it's kind of can be irritating okay um hmm do I want my ship to be my home spawn what if my ship gets taken out and I die then I crash on a Kua anyway, right? So, meh, I'm back at the base. I kind of start again, but I got a base with a whole bunch of mats and food. So, yeah, I'll make it my home. Okay, uh, let's turn this puppy on. We'll get, oop, get the engines going. Let's turn the oxygen on. There we go. There we go. We should now be oxygenated. And we are ready to take off. So, let's go. You can see I got my SV on the top there, latched on. Couldn't really fit it that well. It's, I mean, like I say, this is a starting CV. Not a lot of hangar space, pretty much just big enough for a decent size HV. But that's okay, I can I can fly around with the uh, ship on the top, I don't care. Doesn't bug me. It means those guns though might like blow up my ship maybe, I'm not sure. Hmm, maybe I didn't think this through. Will it, will it, will it shoot its own blocks, my own ship? Does that happen? Does that happen? I guess we're gonna see. I guess we're gonna see. I can't remember. I would think that would have happened already to me at some point. Now I'm all nervous about it. Okay. Uh, let's check out our map and where are we going? Because I want to get the heck out of here. So we've already been to Skillon and we know what it has. And we did Ninges. Um, we've drawn the trading outpost too. It's got Sath. So, but we haven't done, we haven't done those ones. So we've got to get to it for maybe, what if we, let's, then there's Aestis down there, Sahins. Hmm. Masperon way the heck over there. Oh, one way. That's interesting. So I'd have to get to it probably from Aetis. Well, let's 
let's go trading post around because I've been to Ninga's. Let's go trading post and then around like this. I think it'll go in a circle. So let's let's try that. Because we got to get somewhere first that we've been already in the short range. Where is it here? There it is. Okay. Oh, and what is that coming in there? That is a... See you later, sucker! Okay. So we've been here before. Let's... Check out Oscatoon. We're off to Oscatoon. Okay, fly faster, fine. My ship's not all that fast, you can see. But it'll be fine. It's maneuverable enough with a couple of our uh, T2RCs. <clears throat> it's only class one ship, mind you, so. Still is pretty peeny for a capital vessel. Uh, oh, right, we're, uh, we're in Oscatoon here. Let's uh, check out what it's got. What it's got? Copper, cobalt, neo, sath. Oh, sath. It's got sascosium, iron, and promethium. And the asteroids. What about the planet? Oh, I could get Sathen and I, oh, I could try it with the the CV. Oh, nice. We gotta find that. Okay, let's uh, check out Oscatoon. So, oh, ooh, a restroom, and depletion of restroom, and Zascosium. Huh. Iron, Promethium, Cobalt. But you need everything that you need for like. Lots of different ammo. <laughs> it's like an ammo planet, but a restaurant is Ascosium, which I really need. Could do I could use some cobalt too, to tell you the truth. Um hmm. Do we stop there first and try and get some? A restroom and Zascosium on the same planet on Oscatoon. And it's all the islands, right? Huh, okay, so that's a possibility. I could take the SV down there and, uh, and like try and mine out of the SV. That's, that's a really good idea. You know what? I might just do that anyway, because the restroom is Zascosium. Or, you know what? I, I said we're going to teleport around. Let's, let's go check out what, okay, so there's an asteroid field up there. Should we go this way around then? Because we've already been to Skillen. So, that's very interesting. Let's check this out. Now, do we need to fill up again? We probably do, so let's just do it anyway. Hmm. Oscatoon has some uh, high-end ore now. I didn't see magnesium yet. I think magnesium is going to be like the ultra um, hard ore or something because I haven't seen it in a planet yet. I haven't seen it as deposit or asteroid. Um, okay, so let's see what's here. Uh, Neo, silicon, sathium, zascosium, copper, promethium, iron. Oh, so there's sas in here somewhere. Huh. That's really interesting, too. Neo, Neo, which I need really bad, too. Hmm. This could be some good mining in here with the with the CV. Zascosium, neodymium, the Neo. But no cobalt. Okay, um, well, let's continue on. Down to Aestus. Ooh, 
cool. We're really close to the ring. Wow. Okay. Uh, nice. A lava planet. Let's check it out here. It's the asteroids around here have silicone, sathium, and cobalt. Hmm. Cobalt and sathium. What does the planet have? It's got iron, promethium, cobalt, sathium, neodymium, gold. Ooh. Depletion neo, sath, promethium. Depletion neo. Huh. And that is a lava planet. Eek. Yeah. With a good HV, it's not that bad. Asteroids can be really easy with a good HV. Or in meteorites, I should say. Um, hmm. That's cool. Let's check out Omicron. Omicron, yeah. Let's check out Omicron. So that's actually a short distance to Aestus 15. An SV could do that. That's interesting. I can't remember stuff being that close before. Well, let's get going. Omicron, here we come. <laughs> run, 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 run. Whew. Yeah, thanks for telling me, teleporting me, warping me right <laughs> in front of a freighter. Yikes. I mean, this thing is combat steel and it's got a huge bulk and it's not like I would die from take. I could probably, it would take a while to take this thing out, I'm sure. But... I just don't want the headache. Well, let's see where Omicron and its moon have. So silicon iron in the asteroid belt. And we've got copper, iron, silicon, promethium. Um, and then iron, copper, silicon, promethium as depletion. So this is like starter planet. Medium, explore. So this is the other starter planet. Okay, so it can go to Aestus to get the Sathium Cobalt and Neo. Aha. Okay. And we don't know about Sahines yet. So what's its moon will be just like just like uh, Akua. This is all, this is like a blueprint of Akua, except on, okay. And then they're, look at that, they're completely opposite the, the sun from each other. That's interesting. Hmm. Well, let's go to Zahines. We'll quickly fill the tank up again here. Now let's check out see how much I got on me. 142. I still got a couple of stacks of it, I'm pretty sure. Let's just double check. Before I completely fuel there. Come on. Yeah. So lots. Lots and lots. We can go back to wherever we want. Even if it's on the other side of the universe. Okay. So let's head to Zahines. Okay, let's check it out. That wasn't a red. No, okay. Thought I saw red there for a second. I'm like, no, I'm all psyched out. Okay, iron, silicone, sathium, promethium. Hmm. In the asteroids, and then in the in the planet, iron, promethium, cobalt, sathium, neo. Ah, the planet has cobalt, sath, and neo. So that's the Heinz. That's not too far from Akua. And that has Neo, Sath, and Cobalt also. So Ninges. 
So I couldn't quite reach there. That was too far between, so... Hmm, that's interesting. So Alien Outpost. Well, we haven't been there yet, and it looks like I can get to Maspron from there, so I guess that's our next one. Um, so yeah, Zahines has the same the same stuff by the look of it as Ninguez. Uh, no, not quite. So the orbit's not quite the same. Yeah, this one, Ninguez has Neo, Zahines doesn't, but it's got Sath, but it's got Depletion, Meteorite, Neo, Deposits, so, I mean, it's still a good Neo source. Well, let's go to the Alien Outpost. Interesting. Okay, no, f nothing trying to kill me right away. No, we're looking okay. Okay, so let's check our map. See what we got. Usually these, these, uh, these are like the, yeah. See, this has Zas Pent Magnesium. Ooh. Okay, it's full of dangers. Ooh, dun dun dun. And that's all there is to it. Okay, so I can get to Maspron. Let's do that. So Zas, and so it's a restroom that it, oh, 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 what was that? Just a, it's just a little fleck. Oh, scared the crap out of me, like it's a ship or something coming in. No, no, okay. Um. So let's take a look at Maspron then. Just quickly fill this up. And head to Maspron. Okay. Well, we've got no visitors, no visitors, no, 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 we okay? Okay. Okay, let's check the map. So this is uh, in the orbit. We've got Zas, Promethium, Cobalt, Copper, Iron. Ooh, nice. Okay, so this is a good spot for mining too. Everywhere is a good spot for mining. It seems. Uh, it seems like you need a lot now too of everything. Maspheron itself has cobalt, a, ooh, a restrium, and depletion, a restrium. Aha! So Maspheron has depletion, a restrium. Okay. That's where the unlimited supply of a restrium comes from. Interesting. And then you can warp all the way back to the trading outpost. And then back to Akua. Okay, that's so that's really cool. Okay. Uh, I guess we're going to Atis next. Or or let's check out what the moon had here. Promethium, Arrestrium, Magnesium, and Depletion, Arrestrium. Um, wow. Um, huh. I like the moon. No critters, easier to see when the, when like the patrol vessel, if there's a patrol vessel. Um, oh wait, no, there is critters there, isn't it? Yeah, it's Maspron moon. No, there's critters. That's, there's nasty critters. Yeah. It's alien. It's got water too, doesn't it? Yeah, it, it rains. Acid rain, fire rain, radiated fog. Yum, yum. Planet wants to eat me. 
Okay, well, difficulty ultra. <laughs> I still got to go there to mine. But, so that means the, can we get it here? The orbit has Zas. So this sector has both. That's interesting. Let's go to Ada's. So it looks like there's lots of options for Zascosium, not as many for a restroom though. That's interesting. And and magnesium, there's only one spot that I found so far, right? So let's check this out. Uh so Adis Orbit has Neosap, Promethium Iron, Cobalt, so lots of good stuff. Uh, asteroid ring. So this would be a good spot to maybe stop and mine. Cobalt Neo. I could really use some Cobalt Neo. Well, I could use everything. Copper, Cobalt, Neo, Sath, Promethium, Iron. All it doesn't have is silicone. This would have been a uh, And then um, the only problem with asteroids is in single players, you eventually burn them out, right? Multiplayer, they, they regen. Um, what do you think? Should we just stay here and mine now? I mean, we've been everywhere. We know what everything has. And it's probably going to be the easiest way to get some Cobalt Neo Sath. I'm not, I'm not super duper... Um, I don't need to go to Masperon yet. I don't, I would probably rather go to Oscatoon to tell you the truth. Because it has Neo. Oh, you know what? You know what? That is where we're going to go to mine. Let's go there. So let's lock on a Skillin. Because I seem to recall it had both. Oh, let's fill up. Okay. And then we head to Oscatoon. Because Oscatoon had Cobalt, Neil, Sath, Zas, Iron, Promethium, and Copper. Uh, but the planet had a restroom and depletion to restroom and depletion Zascosium. So I think we go there. We smash the planetary vessel. And then we're, we're pretty much fine because we're just flying around with the SV. We don't trigger the, the drones. Uh, to come at us all the time, right? Do we? I don't know. Maybe the maybe the troop transport. I've seen that come at me when I'm just in a SV. So, but that's also after shooting stuff usually. So, uh, you know, after you shoot stuff and then you deal with the troop transport, it's not that big of a deal. Um. Yeah, I think we're going there. So we're. We're locking there. We're heading there. Okay, so I think what we'll do right now is we'll try and get some of the stuff in orbit here with the with the uh, CV without attracting the attention of anything really nasty. I think I can take on some some plasma drones. Uh, let's let's see what do we got for um, well I'm in the wrong thing here. What do we got for my turrets? We go to here and we turret it up. 
Turret, make sure they're set. Alien, good. Turret mounted weapon, okay. I think I got them all. Yep, okay, good. Okay. So that, that'll that shoot at things with turrets and mounted weapons, and it'll shoot at drones, and it'll shoot at Xerox, because they're aliens. Um, I'm not sure if it'll shoot at their pets. I don't think it does. You know, those whatever they are. Funky bipedal dudes. Okay. We need to find where Wade... Well, I don't know about Ore, though. Oh, yeah. Ore is usually between three to six thousand. Okay. So, if we want to find Nuggets... Let's get to that range. At least I, I don't really remember. I'm looking for moving, moving lights. I don't see any good. Although space drones do have good loot. They have potential to drop power coils. Okay, so we're 54. Still, let's get a little closer. And I think we need to be level and yeah so we need to go up quite a bit here okay so now we level and no nope, we're still not oh oh what's that so there's a there's something there's something there's something it is a neodymium asteroid yeah Let's go mine that sucker. I don't see anything around. Okay. Okay, that sounds tasty. So. What we want to do is get as close as possible. So I'm just going to... Alt to give myself a better view. I want to go down quite a bit because the drill can point up quite high but not down very far. So I don't want it to have to go down that much. Okay, so that's got to come forward quite a bit. And oh, I've got a hmm. So I'm going to have to correct that. I've got a light, a gap there. I about where the door is. I wonder if I put lights on either side of the door, if that'll correct that. Huh. Well, for now, I should be able to just mine it. Let's see. I don't see anything red around me. Now, the problem with when you jump into your turret you lose your radar and that scares the bejesus out of me so the only way I know that I'm about to be attacked is if you see the red you still see a red arrow but <sighs> here we go let's jump in our drill where are you harvest Yes, harvest, yes. And, oh, I should be turning that off because that thing is crazy on power. Okay, see how you lose the radar? Kind of scary. So I have to always look around the frame of the, of the display to see if I see any red arrows or red whatever. Whoa, I just jumped. 
And yeah, I got a light gap. So I got a gap in my light array. Uh, it's kind of annoying and I'm gonna have to correct that. Because that's not cool. I need any better lighting. I mean, I can kind of see right now, but... Seems like a pretty decent vein. Nice. So, there we go, CV mining. Uh, pretty fast. The only thing that beats it is an HV with, with those laser drills. Uh, and not the turret. Not the HV turret, but the actual mounted drills. You put six of those on, and those HVs are a mining machine, so oh my god. Wow. But, um, yeah. I think we've explored pretty good here. Um, we've done basically what we wanted, what we wanted to for this episode. We, we basically went everywhere so now we know what every single sector all the nitty bitty grits of what it has for resources yeah I just I can pick and choose where I want to go now with this CV uh, I know where to get Pentaxid and Prometheum and all that stuff now. So now we just have to make it happen. Obviously, I'm in Oskatoon because it's got the best spread, in my in my opinion, right now. Um, it it also has a breathable atmosphere, which is kind of cool. If I had time to play this out, I would probably make my home on Oskatoon this time just because of the depletion the restroom Saskosium thing and I think that could be pretty cool well guys uh, if you like the episode like and subscribe next episode we will be trying to get some a restroom and Saskosium we may have to take out the uh, patrol vessel to do it so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go I'm gonna do a bunch of mining and I'm gonna get some ammo together make sure I got enough uh, together to, to take on the patrol vessel and its platform to knock it out of the scene once he's gone then I, I pretty much can mine out the planet for the most part because um, I'm not gonna without putting a base there I'm not going to spur a drone attack but I might put a base there with the depletion uh, being what it is uh, so I might take out the drone base too and then make a base there but I don't think I'm going to do that on this experimental uh, run because it's just it's I don't have the time and I gotta I gotta get this series done and work on the server and get that ready for uh for release uh, uh, when seven comes out of experimental. So um, that was cool. We warped all the way around the universe now. We have full access to everywhere. Um, thank you, drone base on Akua, for becoming my ship for me. And because <laughs> that's pretty much what it is. It's I took all the blocks from the base and turned it into a ship um so there you have it guys uh pretty easy way to do it in single player multiplayer is going to be way harder to do you're not going to get nearly as much resources because you're not going to be able to place a core and regen uh pois so keep that in mind uh the only way 
to, I think if you completely nuke a POI down, it won't regen anymore. I think if it has no blocks to regen, I think it goes away and it's just gone. Um, now, I mean, you can obviously have admins that do nasty things to make POIs impossible to destroy utterly, but, um, you know, like make one block invincible or something <laughs> so it's like guaranteed it's going to regen uh, it's kind of funny okay guys next time Arrestrium Zaskosium probably have to take out the planetary vessel to do it and that's going to be some high end stuff because then we're going to be able to potentially uh, spawn my big death trap and that'll pretty much take on anything in space I'll, I'll have enough to, to spawn my big HV, um, uh, another really good SV that's that's even more capable than than the one I got right now than the than the metal blob. So I think that's my goal is to get enough ore now at this point to spawn those three vessels. So my the um, my heavy drill HV my easy fly SV and my big death trap. Um, and once I accomplish that, we're going to call it a series. So we're, we're on our way now. I'm going to keep gathering this ore. And next time, it's CV destroying time, possibly. Or I die, possibly. See you guys later.